All right, lift's going in. Here's strut number one, the new studs. And the reason we got the sticky thing on the rotor is because the strut with the spacer is installed. That black thing up there is the spacer. Just putting it together here. One hour for that strut. Not bad for the first one. Side number two went considerably easier. And we're just setting the camber, ballparking it with that uh, magnetic gauge. And we'll see how much of a lift we got in the front. Thirty-two and a half. There, let me turn the camera sideways. There, a Carolina squatted uh, Volvo. Two inch lift in the front, nothing in the back. Let's run her. And with a little uh, wrangling and wrestling, we got the back strut off. And now uh, dig up the spring compressors and get the spacers in. So the spacers in, the strut actually went in relatively easy compared to some of the videos we've seen. Now let's get a wheel on it. And three out of the four are done. So I just measured it at 32 and a quarter to the center of the wheel arch. So that's three out of the four tires done. So far it's going really good. It's not a bad lift to install. Highly recommend to the XC70 community. So we wouldn't have this as far along if I was doing this by myself. Christian's uh, giving me a, a hand and it is going along quite smoothly. Started at nine and it is. So that's the first uh, blood we've drawn, and we're on the last wheel. Well, no, we're no blood. It's just I got my finger caught between the ratchet <laughs> and the uh, spring. Oh, so this is the last wheel. Everything has gone really well, and we started at nine. It took our time. We even changed the tie rod on the passenger side. That took almost an hour of mucking around, and it's 1:30 now. Four and a half hours, and we're starting the last wheel on the two inch lift and we have gained some altitude for sure that doesn't look DOT approved yeah we broke one stabilizer link in the front but I'll order a new one next week when I get paid but this uh, last and final strut in the back on the driver's side we literally snug the clamps up took the nut off, put the spacer on, tightened it up. Now we're taking the clamps off and it will be installed. In half the fucking time. In half the fucking time, yep. Last wheel, so what a beast that one was. So don't ever say, oh, that one went easy, because the next one will is listening and it will give you problems like you know tomorrow. This thing down on the ground, we'll see what uh, we average for a lift all the way around. All right, the lift is in. Let's do a walk around and measure the wheels. I'm gonna call that one 30 and a half. Let's do the other front. Uh, for some reason, we're 31 and a quarter the gravel we'll take it down the road and give it a drive 32 on that side and then 32 and a half there we have it all four wheels are back in the ground went for a test drive handles really good six hours plus or minus and we did a tie rod at the same time that took 45 minutes and sits up nice I like it and for ground clearance we gained that height of the threaded section 
I'll have to measure it here in a second. So getting back to the apartment, it's about 10 kilometers, maybe 12. And the car, I remeasured it once I got back here and it ended up being one and three quarter inch in the front, two and a quarter in the back, and two and a quarter ground clearance, all additional overstock. So plenty of room for where I want to take it. Now let's get it aligned and tires. <clears throat> all right, it's recording. So there you have it guys, the uh, Tima 4x4 uh, two inch lift for the Volvo XC70. Uh, six and a half hours, but we did a tie rod end. That took about 45 minutes to swatch, switch that out. And everything went relatively smoothly. Uh, had a couple uh, issues trying to get the, the suspension control arms down far enough to get everything on, but uh, some creative thinking and uh, a couple bottle jacks and we were able to get uh, things put together quite easy. So this is just the start of the Volvo build. Uh, I do want to get, it needs an alignment now, uh, four new tires. Uh, cargo drawer in the back, uh, some lights, a basket or rooftop carry of some sort. Uh, list goes on and on. Like these things, I got to get the fridge down into it. Uh, auxiliary battery hooked up. Uh, like to get all that done before winter, but uh, probably going to be uh, snow flying before I get everything done. I'm in no rush. Uh, a lot of the stuff is coming from the Explorer and now that it is uh, gone. So, hope you like the, uh, the Volvo build. And if you like what we're creating here, hit the like, subscribe, bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.